This is a double Pishik tutor. Uh, now I'd like to show you how to start to play the instrument and how to make a fast tuning of the double of the pipes. Uh, this is the tu tutorial for beginners uh, and maybe for uh, experienced players a little bit. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is my double pishik, and uh, it's tuned. And uh, first thing is how to put your fingers. So your left hand on the top, your right hand on the bottom. By the left hand, you use only these three fingers on each hand, like a tin whistle, and uh, you put uh, fingers of the left hand. On here, on the right pipe, on the three three finger holes of right pipe and uh, uh, fingers three fingers of the right hand, you put on the double uh, finger holes of both pipes, such way. So um, this is the finger positions. Don't put, don't uh, curve them. Just make them uh, straight. Well, um, now uh, how to make a first sound? You have to put the reeds, this thing called the reed. You have to put it in the mouth uh, really deeply. This is the piece of beeswax, a big, big piece of beeswax. And you have to put your lips on these beeswax and this part of the instrument, of the reed, uh, have to be, uh, must be in your mouth, inside your mouth. And don't touch it by the tongue or your cheek. Do not touch it because the tongue uh, have to make a vibration. So look at me. Oh. This is your mouth, and this. So, look at me. And blow. Not very hard, because if you blow very hard, the reeds will close. Like this. And if, and if you will blow not so... Uh, with, with a uh, small pressure, very light pressure, uh, the reeds will sound will sound mm, uh, not correctly like this. So your blowing must be in the middle between these uh, two positions. It's uh, not hard and not very soft. You can close, for first sound, you can close this or this uh, sound. Most of tunes on double p um played in a second position. This is the first position when all finger holes is, are closed, and the second position when the uh, bottom uh, uh, holes, bottom fin finger holes are opened. This is the second note of our double pishik. For example, now I'm playing on the double pishik in D, and so it means that our first note is D, and second note is E. So E, the most uh, useful, the, um, uh, the tonic of uh, the tunes, of most of the tunes for this instrument, and, and double pishik is created to play in the second position from second note. So blow your first note, it uh, better to take the uh, E sound. Just one finger. Uh, 
next thing, next thing is tuning, is fast tuning. So, for example, uh, you have to blow um, the one note, for, for example, E is the same note and we have no vi vibrations, only one sound in both pipes, like now. <laughs> So now I'm, I make a, a detuning, detuning of the instrument, and uh, it's like I just took, just take uh, it, and it's it not, uh, uh, it's very, как это по-английски холодный. It's cold. Now it's cold, uh, and you have to tune it. But before tuning, you have to warm up it. Warming up is very, very important process for all reed instruments because when instrument uh, is cold, it sounds not correctly. But after maybe two minutes of blowing, it uh, becomes in a right temperature, right uh, oh, humidity and it start to sound correctly but uh, if you want to tune it before you have to uh, warm it up so take one sound and blow 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 maybe for one minute or two uh, as long as better <laughs> This is not music, this is just a warming up. So next step is fast tuning, fast tuning. So, um, if you hear that your E note, the second, second sound, second note, is uh, sounding without vibrations, this is good. Now I have uh, is there is any very slow vibration. This is not so good, but it is um, enough to play music. Um, so, if now I I'm make uh, detuning the instrument. So now you hear, this is a strong vibration, and this is not good. So, how to, to understand which pipe uh, is uh, is higher or, or lower? So you you take the uh, one interval, the second note on the left pipe, and put and uh, pick up the uh, f uh, this finger of the left hand, and on this right pipe you'll take the uh, B note. So this is will be it will be fifth interval. Now it has vibration, and we have to detect uh, which pipe is lower. So we can put our our finger on the bottom and make uh, and close a little bit of the. Uh, hole on the left pipe and it will lower the pitch of this pipe and if the tuning will be become good so it means that the um, uh, left pipe is higher and right pipe is lower <laughs> It's not so because uh, second uh, second thing you have to make lower the right the note of the right pipe and you put your finger finger on the hole of the right pipe of this hole and listen to the interval and if it will be become more right clear uh, so it means that the uh, right pipe is higher and uh, left pipe is lower. Uh, 
So you can you can hear that when I put the finger on the hole, on the half and half closed it, we hear that um, the, the, the our interval becomes right. It's clear. So it means that we have to make uh, two, we have two ways, two ways, or to make uh, left pipe higher, or to make right pipe lower. So you can make it uh, by beeswax. If you put beeswax on the tongue of the reed, uh, this so this pipe will make lower pitch. And if you take, take, take out a piece of uh, beeswax from the reed, the pipe will um, will be higher. So now we have to put to make lower the right pipe. We can take the beeswax from the instrument, just little, little, little piece, and put it on the tongue. And again, check the interval. It's, li it's really good. It's really good now. And we can check another intervals. Uh, for example, change the finger, put it, uh, put this finger, and make up this finger. This interval is fourth. It's it works too. It's really good. Yes, um, there is one more way to make a fast tuning without a beeswax. Now I'll make detuning again. It's not in tune, okay. Uh, so, if you hear that you have to tune a little, little bit, you can um, use not beeswax, you can use just your fingers and make such thing. Very, very careful, careful, very careful, because uh, it's um, uh, the reed. This is the heart of the instrument. It's very soft. Make this such thing, and listen to the interval again. Still not in tune. It makes this. Uh, this thing makes the pitch lower of the of this pipe. Now it's in tune, as you hear, a little bit. So this is not enough in this case. So we have to put a little piece of beeswax on this tongue. And it's now uh, in tune again. Listen to the music. in tune again, put a little bit more of beeswax on the right pipe. It's in tune. So, uh, two things, important things. When you start to play, do not forget to make a war warming up. Please warm up your instrument, and after this, you have to make tuning. Uh, when you tune, you can use uh, to, to help closed finger holes to listen the right uh, of your intervals, um, and uh, you can tune the tongues of your reeds uh, by 
by picking up by picking up this and uh, and by the beeswax if you put if you pick up make this way so this reed will be will sound lower and if you take the beeswax from the tongue if you take from it so reed becomes higher and you if you put more beeswax on the tongue the pitch becomes lower so um, this is all this is all for fast for fast tuning uh, and one more thing the skew drivers on our reeds so this very important thing uh, to um, it makes it makes our reeds very stable and you can tune the um, uh, position of the tongue but but if your uh, instrument is working is working good don't do not touch it do not touch it only you can uh, touch it only in a case when the uh, reed is close when you blow it <coughs> oh if you if you blow properly and it close so you can tune your uh, reads by uh, skew driver very very slightly but but do not use it only in uh, extra cases very extra I think uh, this this is a fast tutorial maybe uh, soon we will make a, a very long tutorial um, about about the instruments, about about how to play tunes, about about fine tuning of the instrument, and will be soon. But now I think it's it's enough how to tune, uh, how to make the fast tuning of the double pishik. Play the instrument, uh, love it. I love it. it's my favorite instrument. <laughs>